Little girl sick today. Went to the doctor and she's positive for a strep throat. So, she gotta stay home tomorrow all by herself. Don't come in here. <laughs> she's an outsider. She's the outside of everybody's life because she doesn't want to get anyone sick. Do you have anything to say to the, to the people? To my lovies. I'm going to call my subscribers my lovies. Hey, lo that's cool. Hey, lovies. So saying, hey, guys. I'm going to say, hey, lovies. What do you think? I was thinking about it. I was going to call it. I was going to say stars, but that's too good. I was going to say, hey, my stars. <laughs> nah. What up, wizards? Nope. Nope. Hey, no. You ain't gonna get me sick. I gotta take care of people tomorrow. Keep walking. Keep walking while you're talking. Walking while you're talking. Guys, help me come up with a name for my subscribers. There's only about 300 of y'all, but we're growing. Nope. Back to back. I think I should call y'all lovies. Hey lovies, all my lovies out there. She don't think so. Let us know, help us out. I'm bored. Down below. I'm bored. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. Keep walking. Sorry for the darkness in the room, guys, but hey. So, yeah, we just got to um, sitting in here chit-chatting with the little girl. I'm trying to keep her away from me because I do not want to get what she has, I swear. Um, I'm just sitting here. I'm actually editing my vlog. I'm on YouTube, kind of just looking around at some of these recommendations that they give you as a partner. It's not the back of my neck. It's a little here in the back. I'm just looking at some, you know, trying to increase my views. I understand that I may have to increase my quality and things like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm trying to do better. I've been on YouTube for a good little while. Yes. What do you want? <laughs> okay. Let's take it before you go to bed. Okay. No, you don't want to do that. You want to have coverage in the morning and coverage in the evening. Okay. Kids and these medications. But anyway, I'm editing a vlog and just looking at these references on YouTube. Just trying to, trying to try to be the best I can and trying to take like. Excuse me, lovies. <laughs> Man, y'all gotta help me out with a name. Excuse me. Um, what did it say? It's every 12 hours. Okay. So. so you took it at five, so you gotta take it at five in the morning. That's 12 hours. And then you take it tomorrow, five in the afternoon, and five in the morning. Well, she said twice a day, but on Thursday at one time, she can't do it. I can't do She said twice a day, and on the, the instructions, it says what? Um, one, every 12 hours. It's a day. That's twice a day. If you take it eight in the morning, you're gonna take it eight at night. You understand? So it's off schedule now. Yeah, so let's so this is what we'll do. We'll get on schedule. Before you go to bed tonight, you take it. Okay? And then tomorrow you take it at eight or nine. And then the okay. next twelve hours you'll you'll get up by nine. You need um I know y'all don't want to hear this, so I'll be back and then let me just see what this girl talk about. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I keep say that, saying that every time I come on this camera. I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop saying that. So, anywho, I am on my lunch break at work. And I am just in my car right now. And I am looking through these sale papers from Sunday. Y'all, I have been slipping on my couponing. Like, I just... 
I've just had a mindset of saving my money. Like, I haven't really even been thinking about couponing, even when things are like dirt cheap and free. I haven't been really going and taking advantage. So I feel really like sad about that. Like, I, I missed out. I pretty, I don't know if the buy little sale paper starts today or tomorrow. Today might be, Wednesday might be the last day for last week's sales or the first day for new sales. I don't know. I'm going to have to check. If it is, if Wednesday is the last day, I'm gonna take my butt to wall, um to buy low when I get off work because there's a lot of like beans and stuff that are free or really dirt cheap, and I just have not used my coupons. I haven't been paying attention, and I need to go and do that because we could use those things later. Like seriously, I'm looking at Kmart because um, another thing is I don't know if you guys have. You know with your bank um i online bank with um, bank of america and they give like a lot of cash back deals so they have their they have kmart on there and they have little caesars and they have autozone and i don't shop at kmart so much but you know I, i'm looking in their paper now to see if it's anything i can go get cheap because um you know they they have cash back deals they'll give you a certain percentage back if you have purchased anything from those particular stores and of course little caesars i've bought pizza last night for dinner so i will get like 10 percent back from that five dollars which is only like 50 cents but it's the tax it's something you know and um like um i did AutoZone. i bought some auto parts stuff and i can get like money back from that so so i'm super excited about that and i'm just looking in here and trying to see if it's anything that really I can gain anything from. If not, I'm just gonna throw these things away. So let me show you guys what it's, what it's looking like, what it's looking like, okay? So this is my pile of stuff that's gonna go in the trash. These are the things still have to go through. And then these are the... Sorry guys, so I'm going through these papers from Sunday. So this is Target, and these are the ones that are going to go in the trash. These are some of the ones that still got to go through my mail. And then these ones up here are the stores that I need to go to or it's like coupons that I need to use. So yeah, I'm on my lunch break and trying to sort this stuff out. Excited to go to the store when I get off. That's all I know. Okay. So anywho, that's what I'm doing on my lunch break. I'm looking through this Target paper too because Target is a really good place to shop. Like I've never really shopped in Target, but Target... They be having the stuff, y'all. They be having some good stuff in here. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope everything is going well for you guys. And, you know, I'm just about to go back to work, actually, in about 10 more minutes. Because we get uh, 30 minutes mandatory lunch break. I mean, I could take an hour if I want, but the minimum... I can take is 30 so if I want to stay long I'll stay out longer I can but I'm just gonna stay 30 minutes in goal because I realize that I already have a patient that's waiting on me because she's like super early and they told her that she has to wait so I'm just gonna be chilling in here until my 30 minutes is up and her just gonna have to wait yes her is but yeah So I want to tell you guys something that happened to me at work yesterday. I think I like this lighting better than over here. Yeah. So this man came to our job. Now mind you, I work at a doctor's office, okay? So you guys comment below. Comment below if you've ever been in this situation before. So this man came to our office and granted there's no soliciting here. But everything happens for a reason I believe in life. So he comes selling pies, right? So this girl who's shadowing the people up front, she walks around to all the the areas because there's two doctors in my office, right? So she comes over to our area and she says, you know, we're, um, this man is selling pies, you know, you guys want to buy. And I was like, I don't think that he could sell pies here. And I'm like, who wants to buy? I don't want to buy any pies, is what I'm saying. 
And I asked her, I said, well, why is he selling the pies? Like, does he look like he's homeless or something? I mean, like, what's the situation? And she was like, I don't know. You know, he looks foreign. That's what she said. So I was like, okay. So I made my way up to the front and I peeked through the glass and I saw him and I was like, you know, I didn't want any pies. So I walked away and went on about my business. And then it dawned on me, you know, God sent me a little email a little text message in my brain to go and talk to the man you know find out what he was wanting and give him a five dollar donation well i went back to my area got my five dollars and went looking for the man he'd already left so i went outside to the parking area and i saw him out there so i was like excuse me sir so he came over and we talked for a minute. I was like, you know, why are you, do you have a job? Why are you selling these pies? Like what's going on? And he was with this international agency that was trying to raise money for these people that were going through detox for women and children or something like that. And I don't know, you know, I just was like, oh, the story. And he couldn't really speak English. So I couldn't really understand what he was trying to say, but I understand the, that they were, they were cakes and pies that he was selling that were beautifully wrapped. They had the sticker on the front and the same company that was on the sticker was the company that was on his t-shirt. So I was like, okay, this has to be legit. And I wouldn't care less if it was legit or not. You know, he was a man or a person that was in need. So what I did was I went on ahead and, you know, gave him the $5 donation. But, but before I gave him the $5 donation, he told me that he was selling the pies for five dollars. I was like, wow, look at God. I didn't know it was five dollars, but God told me to give him a five dollar donation. Already knowing I wasn't going to accept a pie or a cake from a stranger, but he told me to give the man the five dollar donation. So I gave, I told the man, I said, well, I'm going to give you a donation. I don't want the pie or the cake, but I'm going to give you a donation. So I gave him the $5 and I shook his hand. He told me, thank you. And, and then he went on into the next building to ask the people. My thing is it takes a certain type of person to be humble enough to walk door to door and ask for anything. You know, back in the day we would have the door to door salesmen, people who were trying to make a living selling stuff. Like that's how they do things. But now it's like people are so prideful. Like they don't want to do stuff like that. And this man was doing that and he was doing it for someone else that was in Florida, not even him, you know, here. So, um, you know, I just said all of that because when I got back in my, my coworkers was like, Oh, you gave that man, you talked to that man, you shook that man, you know, like he was a jerk, like, like a, a, a diseased person or like I did something out of line and, and I was going to be chastised for it. Like, I just feel like in life, we just need to be a little bit more humble and we need to give more and, and consider what other people are going through in their lives. Like everybody is not as blessed as we are, you know? And it just made me mad because I felt like, you know, I come to work every day and I make my money and I can spend my money however I want. Like if I want to give that man a hundred dollars, I'll give him a hundred dollars because it's my money. It's not your money. Like I didn't take up an office poll on whether we should do something you know like the other doctor was like oh we can't solicit here and I was like whatever you know I mean granted we can't that's the rules you have to follow the rules but you know I didn't do that in here I went outside and gave the man the donation so you know I'm just encouraging you guys like to help other people that are in need you know because you may be the one that can help them today and you may not be the one that can help them tomorrow tomorrow you might be the one that needs the help you know so just consider that in your daily life and know that you are blessed to be a blessing like god has given you the things that you have to help other people and you shouldn't take those things for granted like i mean that's just how i feel like i may be wrong like i may be wrong and i may like my friend says people have ulterior motives you know Personally, I would care less what his motives were because his motives do not line up with what God, why I did what I was told to do by God. Like, I did what I was told to do by the Spirit that led me because that's what was needed to be done. I didn't think about, oh, what, what is he going to do with my $5? Like, is he going to spend my $5? Is he going to get high off the $5? I would care less. I did what I was told to do, you know, and it is whatever. And I think that if if more of us do things like that, this place that we live in would be just a little bit better. Like, 
just a tad bit better and and i encourage you guys if you ever see anyone in need try to help somebody in need just a little bit with something if you don't want to be giving people money on the street and see what they want the money for instead of wop just riding past their sign that says hungry if you don't want to pass two three dollars out maybe go to the store next door or the nearest restaurant fast food place and maybe get this a sandwich and a drink for two bucks and take it back to them and be like here here you're hungry here's um you know or something you know something i mean i'm just saying that's that's it but anywho guys um i'm gonna end this here in this vlog here so yeah it's oh what day is it it's yeah i said it was wednesday but yeah that's that so i'm gonna get ready to go back into work because it looks like it's time for me to clock in so you guys enjoy the rest of your day i'll talk to y'all later bye bye